Right fellas, welcome back. Right, before I turn off tanks every day I play, I always try and have a bit of fun in something I've not played for a while. And yesterday it was the uh, turn of my T14. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know if you can really call it a seal covers tank, but I seem to do pretty well in it. Um, yeah, so I'm not particularly proud of this match, purely because of well, you know what I mean. But anyway, it's uh, it was quite a laugh, so I thought I'd chuck it up on the channel. Anyway, yeah, right, the T14. It's a tier five American premium tank. It's got great armor profile, but it only has a tier four gun. I think it's the same gun. One of the guns you get on the M3 Lee, I'm pretty sure it is. That's the kind of standard it's got. It's pretty poor. So I do carry quite a few APCR rounds on this thing, but it does make really good money, so you can still make quite a good profit even by flinging a few of these rounds. But even then, with the premium rounds, the penetration is still less than pretty much all of the tier 5 mediums, so you still don't have a massive amount of pen. And if you come up against things like KV-1s, you can struggle even with premium ammunition and K things like KV-220s as well you really really struggle there right so I've come up this road normally this road is jam packed with heavies uh, come up here all on my own and uh, it doesn't appear to be anyone here so I'm just taking a few sniping shots see if I can poke some free damage and finally get a hit in there on that DW2 how do you call that? Is it the Boucher Wagon? No idea. Don't really care. Right, anyway. That's enough flinging shells across the map, so let's push on. See if we can find those other team's heavies. This is normally where, this map mode, this is normally where you get a good scrap, but there doesn't appear to be anyone here. So let's make we on in. T14 is pretty quick in a straight line. Don't turn very quickly. Uh, which can get you caught out against mediums and lights, but yeah, if you're doing stuff like this, it's great. Right, so I'm pretty much in the enemy spawn now. Spot 82. With standard ammunition on 82, I'm going to be very lucky to get one in. C28 rolls past, and don't really have a view on him. Right, so I'll push in some more. And um, that is probably the most dangerous tank on the enemy team. BDR. That thing is a nine mil gun. That is extremely dangerous tier 5 heavy tank. I love driving that thing. Uh, but he's gone, he's out of the game. Yeah, so I've not really done much this match so far. Two thirds of our team are dead. The enemy team have only lost four players. So, uh, yeah, I was just trying to see what I could do from wherever I was. Like I said, I was expecting most of the enemy team to be up on this hill. But, no one showed. Now we're down to four players. I was expecting this game to be over pretty soon, so that's why I was just taking sniping shots. Plus, but I am the nearest one to the flag, and we are being capped. So I did kind of have that half in my mind. Bingo. Pick up the first kill. Had enough of that. I'm gonna push on in. We're now down to me, a tank destroyer, and one artillery left. Versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine enemy players. And here we go, we found the arty. 
So we can pick these guys up quick and we hit that guy. It's a birch gun and we set him on fire and he's done. Where's the other one? I'm taking shots from behind, but they're not penetrating, so I'm not really bothered at the minute. Take a small splash off the arty. Not really bothered. I'm pretty sure that's that 82 has rolled around to find me. I don't really know, but doesn't seem to be able to penetrate me, so I'm going to push in. Get cap reset. Because the numbers, we're starting to pull the numbers back. Uh, it's looking a little bit better. Oh, oh no, it's just me and that artillery left. This is what we got left. One medium, three lights, a tank destroyer, and an artillery. Right, where is he? He's got to be capping me on that rock. But I'm on the bridge. I've got a shot. Boom! Ammo rack. That was a bit lucky. So we secured the cap. Hopefully the artillery is in range to give me some support now. Right, just wondering what to do in here. Pops out the other artillery. Missed my first shot. That was a bit of a bad shot. Really wasn't taking this game too seriously at the start, but now I'm starting to pull the numbers back. I'm just starting to uh, get into it a little bit more. And here comes the Covenanter. He's down. So it's starting to look a bit better now. But it's still an 82, a Panzer IV. Still in play on the enemy team. They're two pretty dangerous tanks. Right, so I'm trying to hit his cupola with APCR. I'm getting one in, but I'm starting to take some damage from this guy. I really need to be careful now. <laughs> nice try, Panzer 1C. If you haven't got any premium loaded, mate, you don't really have a chance. I'm just going to sit here. Come on, pop out, pop out. He's going to get around me, he's going to get around me. There's a track traverse on this tank, it's not very good. But we finish him off. And now, there's just the Panzer IV left. But I don't know where he is, he could be anywhere on this map. I've not seen him at all. So I'm going to stay in range of the artillery. Because if the artillery spots him, I'll know where he is. If I spot him, the artillery might be able to help me out. Oh, six cents gone off, so he's he's here somewhere. Oh, and a shot where's his pass, so I know he's up there somewhere. There he is, he's on low health. Right, I thought I was hold down in this position for make a bit of a boo-boo. Aiming up a turret shot, fire at him, he hits me and sets me on fire and kills me, but we take down the Radley Walters metal and the victory. Good job the artillery was still alive there, otherwise I could have messed that one right up. Got seven grand for the daily double, high caliber award. Mastery Ace Tanker, it's pretty good. Radley Walters for the eight kills. Cool-headed, I think that's for getting a ricochet or I don't know. Pascucci's medal for killing the three artilleries. Defender medal for knocking off that BT-7 or whatever it was. Top gun for six. And a few ribbons. Happy days. Right, there we go. A few ribbons and medals and a bit of fun in my T-14. I've had this tank since uh, beta testing I've not really sold it, which is, uh, this is why, because I don't play it very often, but sometimes you can have amazing matches in it. The armour just holds up so good. It's just a lot of fun, and you can have a lot of fun in this tank. And I fully recommend you buy it if you're looking for a tier 5 American crew trainer or just a tank making money.
Watch it, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.